Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place Battlefleet Gothic Armada. We might have a problem. Uh, this is the second time I've started up this episode. Um, the first time we went into the mission, the priority mission with the Eldar, and then the game crashed on me. So it might be that that mission, that we start at the beginning of that, or that we have lost it, which would be horrible, I guess. So we will find out now. And I am doing this live on by recording because I was too scared to find out prior to that. So let's take a look here. <laughs> oh, please let it be at the beginning of the turn. It isn't. So I have no idea what has happened. Really? Okay, I have to say this is... I have no idea what to do now. We've lost that Eldar mission, which I assume means they won't be our allies. So this is pretty bad, because I... Oh, God. And I have to be honest, after crashing, I really took a look if I could find the save files, and I didn't. Um, so I just started this up again and hoped that it worked, and now... It's just bad, so... It was a 450-point Eldar mission where we would have just had to beat the orcs, and I assume after winning that, they would have become our allies or something like that. Thanks to the crash, we've lost that mission now. So, that's just not good. And it, it takes away my enthusiasm quite a bit at the moment. But we really also don't have any other choice but to continue onwards with this and hope that it that we can still do this and that it turns out okay in the end. So yeah, that's what we're going for. Unfortunately. So what happened to my ships that I used there? I used three ships, a cruiser, a light cruiser, and a battle cruiser. Yeah, they are all fine. So, what? Ah, this is so bad. And I don't even know what happens story-wise now. It's just the mission is automatically lost. Yeah, that's not nice. Uh, it's a bit annoying, to be honest. But it, we, we can't change it, so let's just move on from here. So as we can see, the threats are spiraling out of control, and I have no idea what happens when this reaches maximum. So we should try to do something here. So as a first mission, I think... Let's try to find a chaos mission, a cruiser clash ideally, like this one. Let's see if we have more than one available. Um, doesn't look like it. Nope. So we are going to take a look at that one. Uh, it's just, it's got some an added effect, I think, which you will have to work with. So it's on Boetia, or whatever we should call it. 700 points, Cruiser Clash. Uh, yeah, so let's do that one. Ah, uh, it's so unfortunate that we had that crash. And that's the one thing where I'm not happy that I used Iron Man. I'm fine with losing, but losing a match because of a crash like that is just not good. So it's the first time now that we will use our battleship. And let's just see. Yeah, this is not a good idea. So let's um, make it different. One from each class, maybe? Something like this? Yeah, I think that should work. Hopefully. Um, so let's ready up and see what we have to deal with. It is 700 points, so there should be a lot of ships. <sighs> it's really demoralizing if what what happened there with it's just not good 
and I'm a bit annoyed about it and generally sad <laughs> because I was trying to turn things things around and this just derailed us again pretty much completely so let's set up for an engagement against chaos which means we would like to go into close range and then we can ready up Course plotted. and start moving I guess See, while well, you can barely see the nebula because of the background, which looks pretty epic, but still, it makes it a little bit difficult to see. But we'll, we'll see. I, I could rotate the camera as well, but the ships actually stand out Understood. pretty well against the, the background. So it's not horrible. Awaiting orders. Let's see, you... Let's go for bombers. Or what's better, bombers or assault boats? Assault action. Your orders? I think I'd rather have the bombers. Yes, Admiral. With the amount of launch base that we have, if they can make it through, they should deal a pretty good amount of damage. Oh yeah, that's not nice. Um, Ship ready. Let's move around that. I really have no problem taking my time here. There's one ship over there, and maybe we should just start moving towards that one. So let's see. Do I want to set up the plasma bomb? Probably not right away. At least there's only four Chaos ships as well, so not too much. Uh, that could be good. Uh, it also means there's going to be more Awaiting big ships, orders. and Acquiring I don't really want to, to be caught in that. Or so let's full. not, because that's a st the stasis field, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, they are. We are going to get in there, though. Hot. There is nothing we can do about that now, I think. Uh, Resuming all normal set functions. The attack there. Enemy ship sighted. Okay, so this one is now, for the time being, priority one, with focus on Your weapons. Orders. Resuming normal functions. Let's see. So the one ha field is already dissipated. There come the other ones. Ah. <sighs> I'm a little bit off my game now, thanks to what happened there, I think. I'll try to recover, but this is uh, looking a bit unfortunate at the moment. But we are, wow, actually dealing a lot of damage to that one. Let's turn around here. You turn in as well, please. And now we can just... Yeah, let's go for some lightning strikes. Activating tactical cogitators. So if we can take one out quickly, that should be really helpful. Activating tactical cogitators. Let's see, yeah, this is the one with the torpedoes. Okay, he's just trying to flee already, which is pretty nice. Yes, oh. Okay, let's f let him flee if he Awaiting wants to flee. Orders. I really have no problem with that. But he exploded before he could. So that's really nice. Turn around, please. We still have two lightning strikes left. That we can work with. Who's trying to... Resuming normal functions. Don't we hear something warping away? Oh, that one over there is fleeing. Yes, so, the one getting destroyed right away got the morale down far enough that they're just running. That's pretty nice. Nothing against that. Let's put ourselves over there. Boost. Let's see if we can ram him. Ah, we missed. That's... It's fine. 
we're still right in there with him. Course plotted. So let's see about this. Uh, this is looking pretty good at the moment. Oh, damage one of our weapons. So it's that side, which means we should switch and try to focus on this side from now on. on or not try, we will just uh, tell him to do that. So that one over there is pretty much toast. Not quite there yet, but almost. Why are you sticking around so bad? Let's send some torpedoes that way, because he is flying in that direction, and hopefully we will be able to... Yeah, well, one hit. It's better than nothing. And let's keep going. Uh, this is going to be fun. Bow. Cruising speed set. And you really Reporting should run away now. Action. Uh, let's just boost away in that direction. Okay, that one is almost dead as well. They're trying to flee. So this one went pretty much perfectly. Almost. Well, this one is... Well, it's not even damaged, I think, for in terms of repairs. So it's even more unfortunate that we didn't actually get to play the Eldar mission and we we lost automatically because of that. I, at least I assume so. I doubt that we won that one. Uh, I have no, I really have no reason, uh, no way of telling. So if anybody could tell me what just happens there, uh, if you win or lose, that would be nice. Because I don't know. I'll just have to make do with the consequences. So we have a bunch of level ups. First of all, this one, let's go for a squadron. And wow, the upgrades just cost too much. That's not happening, unfortunately. Uh, let's go for a little bit of Master Gunner. And do I want to go for an upgrade here? If yes, what should we go for? Um, maybe nothing for now, so that I can save up for the uh, for the battleship upgrade. That's probably useful. So let's take on our uh, last mission and see what we can do there. And I think I'm gonna go for the Nemesis mission again. We need to take that one on. And it's an assassination mission again this time around. And I just hope that we can make it work this time. We did a lot better against Chaos now that I know at what range I need to stay and stuff like that, so hopefully this will work. Otherwise, uh, we have given away two missions this time around, and I'm taking the battleship again. Um, let's see, I would think I'd like a stasis shield, actually, a stasis bomb. So, this one. And then, yeah, let's take this one as well, because we have two ships with micro warp jump then, and we can reposition ourselves and get close to the enemy ship again. So that seems like a good idea, in my opinion. Oh, so let's see how that works. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's still going strong. We've known that one. Already evaded us once, and hopefully this time we will be able to change that. And I think... Oh, let's just move the camera, but I'm trying to get this set up right. One, two, and three. And 3k range. Um, 
Yeah, okay, let's ready up. Okay, he's straight ahead. So I will just boost so that we get closer to him as fast as possible. And we have the uh, enhanced induction cells on our battleship. So we should be able to do something with that. And let's also start things off with some torpedoes. And melta torpedoes in this case. So let's see how this turns out. And he should... He is moving towards us at the moment. Uh, that should stop in just a bit. Yeah, you really need to not move through that. Let's see. This. Your orders. And that. And where is he going? He's still moving towards us. So he's priority one, and we will destroy his... Uh, let's see. Deactivate his shield. Yeah, that sounds good. Better in this case. Yes, Admiral. And let's see, can I? They're already in bomber range, Admiral, so that's pretty nice. And we will just focus them on this ship always. You are a priority two target. That's a priority three. And you are the Resuming one. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, he's going to get caught in that. Cruising speed set. Unfortunately. So, wait. All of you still attack this one, of course. Resuming normal functions. Awaiting orders. Oh, so he already used his induction cells, unfortunately. Ship wow, ready. deck damaged right away. What else? Really? How? Ship ready. Me. Resuming normal function. Oh god. Okay, he's trying to hit with some torpedoes. Wow, they're dealing Activated so much damage, so I think we might we'll have to do this to try and uh, do something about them. Let's Resuming also set up this bomb and boost out of there with our own ship. And that should take care of the small ones, at least one of them. Yep. Cruising speed That's one down. Yes, Admiral. Okay, so Targeting attack. Attack. Activating tactical Let's see, we have our bombers. And we will Engines use them. So now we are sticking to it. This ship is pretty damaged, unfortunately. So it turn. might be best to just ram them. Your orders. And hope for the best there. So he's turning that way. So we are just mirroring the movement. For the Emperor. Okay, so let's Activating do this. He is trying to move away. And he is, in fact, boosting. Acquiring new vector. So, like to shoot some torpedoes right in there. Execute high energy turn. All ahead Boost. We just command. need to stay close to him. Activating tactical cogitators. And you need to sacri maybe sacrifice yourself with a. Activating tactical cogitators. With a ramming maneuver. Uh, so how long? 30 seconds missile. before Ship ready. they can yes, Admiral. Um, 30 seconds before he can start to try and warp out. Awaiting orders. So I really need to get rid of his shields. But he is somehow cogitators. still pulling in front of me. Yes, Changing course. Kaboom. Activating so that's his shields, I think. Uh, so I need the, I need the lightning strikes to... I really need the lightning strikes to... to uh, interrupt him here. Cancel warp failure. Resuming normal functions. And cancel warp failure, so he's going Your to get orders. away again. I have no Resuming way of stopping that. Target locked in. 
Fire on board? That's going to change anything? I don't think so. Resuming normal functions. No, he's still... Nope, he's gone. What? Again? I, I, I don't know what to do. I have to say, I'm really starting to lose interest in actually finishing this game. I'm going to try, because I'm not one to give up easily. But, I mean, I'm playing on normal, I'm throwing myself at him, I'm staying close, I'm hitting him with every bomber squadron that I can, and I still lose. And I don't understand it. <sighs> Between that and the game crashing, this is just not fun anymore. So this is an unseasonably short episode, in all likelihood, and I didn't get enough stuff here to actually do something useful with. So we're going to end the turn and see what happens now, because I assume th something bad is going to happen, because I just won one mission, and this is almost full. So let's find out. Admiral Spire. Eldrathane. Your assistance dealing with the Orcs has not been forgotten. Allow me to repay you by sharing some important and potentially dangerous information. I travel with a Farseer, one of my people who can read the weaves of fate. Her powers have revealed a traitor amongst your Imperial Navy, a captain named Elias Okar. He will betray you soon, during a major battle. If he is not dealt with, his actions may give Abaddon a decisive victory in this war. Why should I trust this vision of the future from a Xenos witch? This man may be a loyal servant of the Emperor. Any who wear the uniform of the Imperial Navy are worthy of it. Heed me, human. That which you call chaos can corrupt even the brightest spirit. I give you this knowledge only because the great enemy threatens us both. Consider it an act of good faith. I will need to consult with the Sector High Strategic Council. Do as you must, human. I am leading my ships to remove this traitor at once. You can either help excise this cancer from your midst or stand in my way. The choice is yours. Lord Admiral, Inquisitor. Do you believe that the alien is correct? We have only his word to go on. Captain Elias Okar is a reliable man. He has always fought the enemies of the Emperor. I have heard certain rumors about Captain Okar. He has been far more distant with his crew since the beginning of the war. It seems we must rely on your instincts, Admiral Spire. This Eldar Prince communicates only with you. So we are trusting you to make the correct decision. Okay, so apparently the game crashing counted as us successfully helping the Eldar, which is a nice way of the game handling stuff like this, so you automatically win a mission in that case, apparently. So not everything is quite as bad as I assumed, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that one, to be honest. And I think we're going to trust um, the Eldar in this case. Um, Inquisitor Horst is somewhat along the same lines. And I mean, the Inquisition is paranoid to begin with, but still, I I think we can go on and accept this. Eldrathane, I believe we must confront Captain Okar with this accusation. I am pleased you've seen the light of reason, Hume. My battle group is already on the way to deal with this traitor of yours. I will order my fleet to accompany you. However, I must speak to Captain Okar myself. Very well, human. I agree to your terms. You will soon see his corruption with your own eyes. Okay, so I once again was completely unable to do the Nemesis mission, so it's still there. And there's just nothing we can do about that. I, I I don't know, maybe I chose the wrong ships, we should have chosen more ships. I, I really don't know, because it's a really big ship that you always have to 
chase there and they have a lot of boost and they can get away from you and chaos ships are a little bit faster than the navy ships i think so it's really hard to stay ahead of them and keep them and even reach them before they can start to warp away and then i try to keep him from warping away and it didn't work and that's just bad so we could nothing we can do there i guess so I'm just happy that apparently we actually have the Eldar as our allies now and it counted as a positive mission, although the, it crashed and I didn't actually play it. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to end the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed my misery here. <laughs> if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Battlefleet Gothic Armada, just stick around because I'm doing my best to actually finish the campaign. It's going to be a pain in the ass and it's going to be very hard. But I'm not giving up, and we will make this work. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.